And now from lovely Three Forks, Montana, Todd the Vinyl Junkie, with a face for radio and a voice for silent movies. Now your host, the Vinyl Junkie himself, Todd. Hello everybody and welcome to TTVJ Audio YouTube channel. This is going to be our first piece that we're going to do for our new high-end section. And we're going to start with the Lyra Etna Lambda. It's a MC foam cartridge. So over the years, we have tried many phono cartridges here at TTVJ Audio, and one brand has stood out as a big winner when compared to the others. Lyra cartridges won out and have served our vinyl rig very nicely for the last 16 years. We started out with an Argo, moved up to the Titan and then Titan 1, and when the Etna was introduced, we were hooked for good. Then the Lambda version was released and there was no looking back. This is our favorite, and only the Grado Epoch 3 has given the Etna Lambda a run for its money and a place on our main turntable. We have used the Etna Lambda on a variety of turntables including the VPI HRX, the Luxman PD-171, a few SME turntables, and a Transrotor Massimo. We are hoping to try it with the mighty SME Model 60 in the near future. Designed by American Jonathan Carr and hand-built in Japan by master cartridge builder, Yoshinori Mishima, the Lyra cartridge models all perform to the highest standard thanks to the precision building and tuning by Mr. Mishima. Each cartridge is listened to using test records and tuned before they become ready for sale. The exact built means that these cartridges will last a long time as well as each model's sound characteristics being very similar. Heading up the business end of, the, of Lyra is Norwegian Stig Bjorg. Stig? Bjorg, yeah. And don't put that on there. Combined with the designs of Jonathan Carr and cartridge building by Yoshinori Mishima, the Lyra team is outstanding in every aspect. So I'm sure you are wondering what it is we hear with the Lyra Etna Lambda that keeps us loyal listeners. Once broken in, which I would estimate at about 100 hours, your ears are treated to delightful sound. Music sounds like music. We heard detail we had never heard before in records that were very familiar to us. The Etna never, never sounds artificial or hyped or harsh either. Just natural highs in the right place in the soundscape. The mid-range is pure, sweet, and vocals are just stunning. Female and male vocals both stand out as real and natural. You can hear the texture of the human voice as it rises and falls. You will hear contrast in the dynamics as they rise and fall. You do not have to turn the music up to hear all that is revealed from your record. It plays nice softly with jazz and classical and can deliver powerful rock with ease. The bottom end is crisp, tight, and deep. No bloated boom, 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 but impactful bass and drums that reveal their punch and energy. With a great recording, it is astonishing how good your vinyl can sound. The transparency, separation of instruments, and placement of sounds and vocals is top notch. The focused sound staging and imaging we get with the Etna Lambda gives us a feeling of for the performance being right there in our listening room. It is hard not to become emotionally involved in the music while listening to the Etna Lambda. It conveys the emotion of the artist and the music very well. It is engaging to say the least. I cannot say enough good things about this cartridge and am overjoyed to own it and be able to listen to it whenever I choose. So what makes the Etna Lambda sound so good? The stylus is a Lyra designed long footprint variable radius line contact nude diamond How's that for a mouthful? And the cantilever is a diamond coated solid boron rod with a short one point wire suspension directly mounted into the cartridge body via high pressure knife edge system. So you can always sell your wife on this as a diamond turntable ornament that will make sweet music to her ears. Good luck with that. Uh, the body of the Etna Lambda is a machined titanium center core and anodized aluminum. Getting the signal made is done with two coils, two layers deep, 6N high purity copper, chemically purified high purity iron cross shaped former, and 4.2 ohm self impedance with 11 micro Henry inductance. Its output voltage measures 0.56 millivolts at 5 centimeters a second, zero to peak, 45 degrees, and has a frequency response of 10 hertz to 50 kilohertz. Channel separation is greater than 30 dB at 1 kHz. 
Compliance is approximately 12 by 10 centimeters dyne at 100 hertz and it weighs 9.2 grams. Lighter rec recommends a 1.62 to 1.72 gram tracking force. We found that really about 1.7 works best uh, to our ears and the load of 100 to 200 ohms sounded right to us. Of course you may find a different load works best for you but this would be a good place to start. A medium to medium high mass tone arm is recommended which is the bulk of the tone arms out on the market today anyway. Etna Lambda comes in three models. Lyra standard model with a 0.56 millivolt output, a SL low output version with a 0.25 millivolt output, and a mono version also with a 2.5 millivolt output. Lyra provides a generous trade-up program as well as a very good rebuild program. Once you own a Lyra cartridge, you'll be able to stay in their family of cartridges, either replacing the model you have with with an exchange or rebuild or stepping up to the next level with their great upgrade programs. Uh, so that's the Lyra Etna Lambda and our opinion of it. You can't go wrong with this cartridge in your high-end system. More info on all the Etna Lambda cartridges is available on our website at ttvjaudio.com. Don't forget to visit the TTVJ Audio website and sign up for our newsletter. Keep up to date with new products, sales, and loaner programs. Thanks for watching.